going on everyone? Hip Pause here with a quick tip on uh, for actually 3D Studio Max as opposed to anything uh, Unreal related. Um, basically what I'm going to give you guys is kind of, it's almost an end all fix. Uh, I'm going to title the video that this is the end all fix uh, for basically corrupt data because you know we're working in 3D, we're working with computers and ever since the dawn of computers there has always been the notion of corrupt data right well that still happens and it can actually introduce itself uh, these days even in the newer versions and when it does happen what the hell do you do is there any kind of a fix and the answer is sometimes yes so if I take this guy and I export him like as the fridge and I say yes and I hit OK we're fine however that was one I fixed if I try to take the original, this is the original file here, and I try to export this one to say new, I hit OK, ba-dong, ba -der -ba -der. what the, what the, what the fuck? So, uh, like, I can't export that but you saw that I fixed it, right? So how did I fix it? Well, this is my end all fix. So I need to open up 3DS again here really quick. Shouldn't take long because it's already been opened. It takes a long time after you've launched your computer, you know, just boot it up. Uh, Max can take a while to load, but once it has loaded once, it's usually much quicker. There we go. Okay. So let's open up this scene again. This is the bad one. Okay, so we have all this stuff here for the scene, but what's concerning us right now is this piece right here. So this can't export, it's totally broken, why? Hmm, well, let's see. Here's the end all fix. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I do know how to fix it. What you do is whenever you have a mesh or something that is just doing something like this, it's crashing the system, it's uh, not importing, it's, you know, every, you know, something's going wrong with it that, is, that doesn't make any sense, like for instance crashing when you export that's not good you know that's there's something wrong here the answer is to clone the element as a new object okay so we now have a new object here and then what you do is using snap to verts snap to verts here move it back into position okay then we can turn snap off I'll get the original out of here fridge just delete it and here's my new version What the? Okay, and we say save. I keep everything the same. No problems. It's fixed. Works fine. It'll import fine. Everything's fine. So there is the fix. If you have an issue with your data being corrupted in some fashion that you cannot explain, uh, just can't explain it, what I think has happened, this is just my theory, what I think has actually happened is that these things are, they are files essentially, right? And they have data in them that, you know, coordinates where the verts are and what's connected and, and how the polygons and all that stuff are done. That's like some kind of crazy huge data table, right? We're, we're all pretty much aware of that. I know some of you actually understand it. Uh, most of us don't. I don't really understand what the code is. I couldn't write a program that generated a 3D model in here. I just don't know how to do that. Uh, but what I'm assuming is that there's also a bunch of other stuff in here, like aside from this actual data that's in the file that has gotten corrupted. Uh, and the way I just, I always just kind of say in a when I say this, it's just in general terms. I say it's got a corrupted header, uh, which just means you know that there's you know something in there is is effed up. So why? And the only the way to get it out is like I said is when you do this and you clone this as a new object. What you've done is you've you've created an object, a brand new object, with just the data table for the the actual you know. Uh, physical attributes of the model here, the, you know, the verts, the, the edges, and the, and the faces. And when you do this, by creating a new file, essentially, you are wiping out any of that corruption. So, if, like I said, if that happens, just follow this simple step. Like I said, clone it 
boom. Don't clone to element because it remains inside the object, so anything that's wrong with this object remains in play. So we clone to object, so it's a brand new object. And like I said, if you want to get it back to where it originally was, you could either, you could actually at this point um, still snap it like this as the element, and that doesn't move the pivot because um, you'll see that my pivot's actually been shifting constantly over because I was just moving the object. Um, that would be a pretty easy fix. Uh, like for instance, I could simply, if I just moved it out of the way, I could just align the pivot to this one, which I've already effed up, so it doesn't really make a difference. And and again, you, you know, keeping in mind that the pivot has no bearing on your export. Uh, where your actual pivot is, it's uh, where the object is in relation to the origin of the scene, which is this, the grid here. So, you know, if you care about the pivot, just, you know, snap the element back. If you don't care about the pivot or you forget or whatever, you can fix it later. Like, for instance, I could I could move this guy back real easy, just like this. Boom. Well, actually, no, I just moved the pivot, didn't I? I'll move the object back. And then I'll affect the pivot, and I'll just move the pivot back to zero, zero, zero. You know, who cares? So that's how I've been fixing this, and I've been doing this for years, and I kind of never mentioned it. So, like I said, hopefully that helps you guys. If you guys run into an issue where you're, this is something wrong, you don't know what it is, try that. It usually works. It doesn't work 100% of the time. It usually does. So this is Hippos signing off. Thanks for watching.